we receive a lot of emails since we started exporting in beginning of November to the US and Canada but especially the US can our machines anneal the 375 Shytac as well as the 416 Hellfire and all the parent cases in in those cartridges for a Shytac and all the variants of the 416 Hellfire or 416 that's been built for ELR although we stated on our website we still get a lot of emails and questions regarding this so I decided to quickly make you guys a short video just to show to you that it can anneal the 375 Shytek so just for this video's purpose I don't think I'm not sure if you're going to pick it up yeah there's something but I'll, I'll put a photo for you guys in this is a 375 in Peterson brass so it's a 9.5 by 71 and then you have to play with it a bit and then you have your Shytek so let's do the run and see there's number one and I did pick up some deviation I think we'll just see yeah you see the screen flashes there's a deviation by 19% I think the other cartridge was a normal and these ones are Peterson's yes and there's another deviation so I've annealed three we only had three Shytek's because we don't shoot Shytek it's our testing cases and I'm just pressing keeping it in and I just want to alert you guys or show you also the deviation the first one was a Norma at 53% the second one was a Peterson at 72 the third one was also a Peterson at 75% what that actually means is, is that we've got sensors in our machines and we actually measure the thickness around the shoulder and neck areas we call this case anomaly or just plain case sorting so you can see there's a deviation especially it's the same caliber but there was accidentally another case of another brand in there so that's this is also helping you just to sort out if you make a mistake maybe a child or someone else is, is giving you other ammo we see it a lot on the 6.5 creeds and the 308s the 243s there's another brand of case or a 308 is between a, a 65 creed then the machine as you saw in the video it, it will flash and alert you that there's an anomaly um, go and check it now in this instance where we've used the same uh, case in the sense of it was a shy tech but we use normal brass that was that was knacked up and that was basically tuned for a, for a, a shy tech and also then the peterson brass between the manufacturers the deviations now obviously you want to sort your brass meaning you want to use one manufacturer and if you get deviations like the 72 and 75 percent in a case and the screen flashes at you that is something that you want to draw your attention to because that can mean um three percent is, is a lot on on, on elr and because we specifically measure it with our sensors in the neck and shoulder region it means there's less or more material and that's why they deviate and that can be due to the manufacturing process and the quality of the brass or maybe you were cutting or turning necks and there's less or more material and that is something you want to 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 take note of because in the elr game long range uh, three percent deviation on your neck tension and bullet grip will most certainly give you very high ess and you will see it on your target or most probably you won't see it because it's a it will be a mess so this is also something that that we've built into our machines for for quite a while and um, it helps you just scientifically to check at your cases and to make sure that they within those three percent again if you are a hunter and and you're going up to five six hundred meters it won't punish you and also I don't think you 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 will realize it really but if, if you're a paper guy and and you F class and you go out to six seven hundred nine hundred meters you're shooting for V-bulls that is definitely the case that blinks at you uh, via the machine that you just want to get rid of or use as your cold ball or just chuck it away because that will maybe cost you your competition 
So this is another great feature that, that we run for some quite some time. And we didn't say too much about it or put it on, on video. But um, it is here for you guys to see and it's also on our website to read a bit more. Thank you so much and keep them small.